Hey folks, my name is Aiden from Thinkware Dash Cams, and today we're going to be showing you how to install Thinkware Dash Cam and how to hide the wires. Let's get it. You'll need the following items for installation. A Thinkware Dash Cam, Dash Cam mount, power cable, depending on your Dash Cam, either the 12 volt power cable or the hardwiring cable is included in the box. For hardwiring instructions, please refer to the How to Hardwire Your Dash Cam tutorial video. Glass cleaner, a microfiber towel, and trim tools. Step one, clean the inside of your windshield with the glass cleaner and the microfiber towel. Step two, grab the dash cam mount and connect it to the dash cam. Now take the power cable and plug in the dash cam to power it on. Before removing the plastic adhesive cover, we can mock mount the dash cam. Step 3. With the dash cam powered on, line up the lens of the dash cam with the middle of your rear view mirror. Find a mounting location that does not block your vehicle's sensors or your line of sight while driving. Temporarily place and hold the dash cam in place. You can check the viewing angle of the dash cam by removing the micro SD card and reviewing the footage or if your dash cam has built-in Wi-Fi, you can view the footage on your phone. Step 4. Next, remove the plastic backing from the adhesive pad and mount the dash cam in your desired location. Review the footage and adjust the lens accordingly. Step 5. If your dash cam came with the rear cam, you mount the rear cam the same way as the main unit. Clean the inside of your rear windshield and mount the rear cam to the top middle of the rear windshield. Now it's time to hide the wires. Admittedly, this is the most difficult part, and we can't show you exactly how to hide the wires because every vehicle is different, but we can show you the techniques that we used. First off, we hid the wires around the center console as the 12 volt plug is in the middle of the vehicle. We ran the power cable wire behind the dash and behind the A pillar. Your vehicle will most likely have an airbag behind the A pillar. Therefore, take your time when removing the A pillar. It is possible to puncture or damage the airbag. Once you have the A-pillar removed, you should see the manufacturer's cable management behind the airbag. You can route your dash cam wiring with the factory wiring behind the airbag. To ensure your wiring does not impede the deployment of your airbag, make sure the wiring is secured with either tape or zip ties behind the airbag. Another tip to hide your cables is you can hide wiring in the weathering strip by tucking the wiring underneath. This will cause your weather stripping to bulge slightly, but won't cause damage. In order to properly hide the rear cam cable, we remove plastic trim pieces to route and hide the cables. Once your wires are all hidden, your installation is complete. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about installing a dash cam into your vehicle, don't hesitate to reach out to our customer support team which can be reached via the phone or email.